What's up my dudes, welcome back to my channel. Today we are back on UFC 4, and as you can see by the title of this video, we're gonna be kicking people, a lot. It's actually the only thing I'm gonna allow my fighter to do for the entirety of his career, whether he likes it or not. But first, this video is sponsored by Swing Dunk. Swing Dunk is a game that combines fast-paced basketball with a stylish hoverboard experience. The objective of the game is to score more points than your opponents. Swing Dunk allows you to pick up boosts in the game that will help you score on your opponents in creative ways. Or if you are on defense, it'll help you stop your opponents from scoring. You can shoot or dunk by using the swinging element of the game, which gives you a lot of freedom on how you end up scoring. You can play 3v3, 4v4, or even go one-on-one -on -one in a half-court setting. You can also customize your character and equipment to your liking. For more information, information about this new game, please follow the link in the description. Swing Dunk will be released on Steam as early access on September 16th, so wishlist this game now. It's also free! Swing Dunk playtest will be available starting on August 16th until August 31st. If you want to try the game out before the early access is released on September 16th, follow the link in my description and click the request access button to participate. I want to give a big thank you to Swing Dunk for sponsoring this video. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to play with and against your friends. Again, if you guys want more information on how to get your hands on swing dunk follow the link in the description but let's get back to the video so we're going to start out by creating a new fighter this man is only going to use his feet of course i'm going to make him a kickboxer and then from there i'm going to make him the ideal body type for kicking people in the face from distance which apparently is 6'3 170 pounds with a 6'5 wingspan i thought i would just name my fighter after something that he loves to do so i went ahead and named him kick me and if you think that's a bad name you should meet his brother peg and his hometown the kicking capital of the world the lovely deno dini prope Trovska, Dniprop, Trovska, Oblast, Ukraine. Beautiful city. If you get the opportunity to visit the Double D town in Ukraine, I wouldn't pass up on that opportunity. I hear it's beautiful in the summer. Now, UFC 4 has some great presets which we can go off of. I believe this is supposed to be the more mature version of Matt from Wii Sports. Great fighter, but not what I'm looking for. We've got a barista here who isn't afraid to express himself through his hairstyles and accessories. This guy looks like a mix of Simple Jack from Tropical Thunder and Charles Barkley, which I'm fully here for. This dude's like a young but old RuneScape wizard. I don't know what's going on here, but who am I kidding? I love this Simple Jack. Charles Barkley thing. And don't mind me, I'm just gonna spend 30 minutes shaping this dude into the most beautiful UFC fighter you've ever seen. And yeah, so uh... So this is what we ended up with. So it turns out eyes aren't really necessary to be in the UFC. I just kind of took those away, brought the brow down, brought the cheeks up. The nose kind of looks like Pinocchio. He's always frowning, mean mugging people. Imagine being in the octagon with this guy. You wouldn't know whether to fight him or kiss him, but we can't forget the tattoo aspect of this game. This is a great way to strike fear inside of your opponents before the fight even starts. And what scares off a man quicker than a tramp stamp and a bunch of flowers poorly placed on a body. So kick me here is really coming together well. But as Socrates once said, Drip or drown, bitch. So I'm not proud of it. I spent a bunch of money on cosmetics. And what might I be spending an extra $25 on this game for? Obviously, cargo shorts and a safety vest. What else? And a scarf, because, you know, he may get chilly. He dresses for the job that he wants, not the job that he has. He doesn't want to be a UFC fighter. He wants to work in construction, you know? Everybody's got different dreams. Don't judge the guy. But anyway, first fight here of the my career. But this is a fight where they throw you into the ring with a god-tier fighter that is supposed to kick your ass. The goal is literally to just survive another round. Whether you do so or not has no consequences. I know, awesome storyline. But you know, I got a few good shots in. I was throwing some body kicks, going for the head, but this guy is just blocking everything. I've also upgraded nothing at this point. All I'm out here trying to do is limit the irreversible brain damage I receive and take my paycheck home at the end of the day. And of course, it didn't really work out for me. I can't even kick the dude in the leg. And geez, I'll, okay, I'm embarrassed. I went to sleep. This guy's bragging in my face like I didn't just leave my nine to five across the street to come here and fight him. But second fight here, and this fight is actually winnable. This guy isn't gonna block everything so I can land some pretty clean shots on his face and legs. Boom, concussion, take another one. I did accidentally throw a punch here. I'm very sorry about it. I know I'm a clickbaity fake YouTuber now. My apologies. I let him up and I fought him like a man. And I got a few more good shots in before the end of the first round. I sniffed my way back to my corner and I was more than ready for round two. Round two, more of the same, going straight for the head. Feels like I'm kicking the crimson chin though. I don't know what this dude's taking. But if the 49th kick to the head doesn't work, maybe the 50th will. And it did. Look at that. It's plausible. We can really win fights just by kicking. And in between fights, I am training. I'm doing this as much as possible so I can upgrade my kicks as quickly as possible. And of course, my coach has some great advice for me. But if we start mixing in some kicks into- And you know what? Coach was right. What a great idea. Never thought of that. I did take a little nasty fall here, but my opponent was nice enough to let me up, but that was a mistake. 
And when I say I'm training as hard as possible behind the scenes, what I'm actually saying is that I'm using my training partners as a human kicking bag. Next fight up here, I'm against a wrestler. I give him one decent body kick and he just falls on his back like a turtle. All he wants to do is roll with me. But if the fans wanted to see two grown men get sweaty and roll around, they would have went to the sketchy takeout restaurant across the street. Everybody knows that's where that action's at. But of course, it didn't take long for him to try to submit me. Maybe the guy was just trying to cool off, feeling the breeze of my shotgun barrel nostrils. Not a bad game plan. Second round though, I just started targeting the legs. You can't roll with me if you can't walk. By the third round, the dude just really couldn't get up, couldn't move around at all. And after I broke every single bone in his lower body, he eventually gave up. Probably should have done that a few rounds ago because at this rate he's going to be blowing himself around in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. And by this point I actually unlocked my first specialty kick. There is more to this game than just going for a high kick, body kick, low kick. So I immediately spent all of my money in my bank account just so I could learn how to do a lead spinning side kick. Kick me was probably eating ice cubes for a week just to learn this. But to learn the kick you just have to use it on the guy do a certain amount of damage. And as you can see these kicks are a lot more effective than just the regular kicks. Also by this point I maxed out my kick speed to five stars and kick power to four stars, which would probably make me in the top five kickers in the entire game. And I'm still an amateur fighter. So yeah, I'm sure this is going to go well for everybody I'm matched up with. I'm definitely not just going to abuse the one kick that I know. On the bright side, whatever city I'm staying in, the hospitals must be profiting off me. I got some training in, aka I just bullied my training partners. There you go. Come on, 30 seconds left. And here I am in my second WFA fight, and I just want to point out something real quick. Look at the height and reach difference. This guy can't touch me. It's like kick me as a result of terribly good inbreeding. And by this point, like I said, my kick power is insane, and I'm still going up against amateurs. So surprise, it's not working out for my opponents or my training partners. And after that fight, both my kick power and my kick speed are maxed out at five stars. I don't even know why people bother using their hands anymore. And by this point, I was invited to Dana White's Contender Series, which basically means if I get a knockout or submission in the first round, I move on to the UFC, which shouldn't be a problem. And here we are, Kick Me has joined the UFC. Of course, he walks out to his favorite song of no music because he understands the copyright laws. Looks like I'm taking the Jake Paul route here and fighting a guy 18 years older than me. I don't know if this Eric Silva guy is real, but he's got a lot of cool tattoos, so there's that. A little intimidating. In the first 15 seconds, I get a knockdown, blow him a kiss. Who else is doing this but me? And within the first minute of the first round, there's a knockout. That guy's gonna take a nap. I'm taking a nap! You wanna take a nap? I'm taking a nap here. Okay, take a nap right there then. And at this point, I'm collecting UFC paychecks so I can actually get some really cool kicks to add to my arsenal. This one is one of my favorites, the jumping roundhouse. And what else would I do besides abuse a kick I just learned? I'm really a walking, kicking anesthetic. Look at the beautiful kick, the timing of the taunting and the backing up. You love to see it. And my next fight is up against my first ranked opponent. So I might have extended this fight a little bit longer on purpose, huh? And by the end of this, I think I bursted this guy's liver, broke one or two legs, I don't even know. I started showing off the footwork at one point, I was really getting weird out here. Even scored a takedown just for fun, let him hit me. But it was all just a trick to let him get up. Back to the feet now. And that's gonna do it! And God damn it, I'm getting the Jake Paul treatment. I just defeated a top 15 opponent, and they matched me up with an 0-2 CM Punk. If this were a WWE game in about 2010, I'd be pretty excited for this, but uh, the man is 44 years old and 0-2. And here we are against CM Punk with his amazing resume. All right, let's get this over with. He's more than double my age, but the man came out swinging. I think he was just planning on going all out because nobody really gets past the first round anyway. So you might as well just exhaust yourself in the first round. But eventually I began to manage the distance. He wasn't blocking his head. So yeah, he wanted to get weird and get nasty with me on the ground. And he's going to take a nap. And at this point, I'm the 12th ranked fighter in my division. This next kick is just a total meme. A cartwheel kick. I don't know how you'd ever land this in a real fight, but we're gonna do it. And apparently something I have to improve is my top game. What do they think I'm trying to do? Get a job from Kevin Spacey? But my next fight is a pretty serious fight, but I gave him a little body kick, let him walk right into the spinning kick. He's out of here. And my next fight offer is pretty odd. I went from fighting two number seven ranked opponents in a row to them trying to convince me to fight an 18 and six, number 12 Gunnar Nelson. Never heard of him, not really interested in it, so I denied it. And what do I get for my next fight offer? Oh, you know, just the champion Jorge Masvidal. So here we are getting hyped. So we're facing off here, staring each other down. Well, he's staring at me. I'm just looking at the rolls of skin over my eyes. Jorge wanted to shake hands, but don't blame me. I just literally couldn't see it. So yeah, he's got a real cool emote. Yeah, that's awesome. But guess who spent about 50 bucks in total on a bunch of useless animations? 
your boy. And honestly, not a bad fight for the first two minutes. We were kind of just feeling each other out. And then the front kick started landing. And I started blowing kisses. So you know it's getting bad. But right after this cartwheel kick, my life flashed before my eyes. Just pimp slapped me across the face and told me to bring him his money. I don't even know what this guy's talking about. I did accidentally punch him. This is the second punch I landed in my career. But I'm a good sport, so I let him get back up. Just so I could cartwheel kick him. I can't believe that actually worked. I think this might be the only cartwheel knockout I get. And of course it's in my championship fight. And this isn't it. This is where the real fun begins because you unlock a lot of new skills and kicks when you turn into the UFC champion. For instance, I now have all my perks filled out and four out of five of them are directly correlated to just kicking power and speed. I learned what I think is the most useful kick in the game, the two touch spinning sidekick. I also had the pleasure of learning it from my boy, Israel Adesanya. Hands down my favorite fighter right now. I was even being nice enough to give him time to recover because I didn't want to hurt him in the game because I don't need to hurt Israel. What do I have my training partners for? And my first belt defense against Leon Edwards. And this might be the best clip of this entire video. This is just textbook on my part. Poor dude didn't stand a chance. I'm mid selfie dodging punches. <laughs> And then my next belt defense honestly didn't go too well for me. Almost broke my neck quite a few times. Somehow UFC 4 has managed to turn this whole video into a promotion for the Jake Paul fight. But you know what? No free clout. Get a stream link. Be a man. He did land a few good blows on me. He got a Superman punch there or something like that. Although the second round wasn't very pretty. And then my second to last fight of this video, I'm going up against Kamara Usman. In real life, I wouldn't be surprised if this guy doesn't lose a fight until he retires. Dude has tree trunks for legs. His head is a literal cinder block. He's just an absolute unit. The big mistake he made though is that he tried to mimic my game, throw a kick. Oh boy, was that slow. He had that coming. But here I am in the last fight of the video. I moved up a weight class just to fight the champion Paulo Costa and he's a girthy 6'185 pounds. I come out of the gate swinging but he did catch me on a solid kick. Started kneeing in my face. Don't appreciate that. He actually got me again but I started to manage my distance a little bit better but he just started reconstructing my face and I was struggling to just keep him off of me. But like I said earlier if the first 49 kicks don't land maybe the 50th will. And honestly up until this point I think I was losing the round but I got some great distance on him. Body checked him and knocked him out at the buzzard with one second left. Oh, My coach and I are getting weird, making a lot of people in the arena uncomfortable. Here's another look at the beautiful knockout, the front kick at the buzzard. Paulo's face isn't looking pretty, but to be fair, I'm not one to speak on that right now. But regardless of my hideous hair, outfit choices, Pinocchio nose, I just made seven million off that fight. I can't wait to spend all that money John Jones style. And just like that, Kick Me is a champion of two weight classes at the age of 23. But that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Big shout out to Swing Dunk for sponsoring this video. Seriously, go check it out. It looks like it's going to be a really fun game. I'm not just saying that because they paid me. And yeah, they paid me. <laughs> But seriously, I'm only going to take on ads that I think you guys would actually enjoy. So consider downloading it. I might even make a video out of it in the future. We'll see. But don't wear a shirt or a life jacket in the ocean. It's going to chafe your tits. Or so I've heard. Always follow your dreams and pretty girls on Instagram. Lakers in five. But I love you guys. And I will see you in the next one.